first eight months I was working. So along with job, I started uh, work, working on anatomy and speed anatomy videos by Rifti Ma'am is very effective. Starting from basics to the advanced level, I cleared all my doubts related to anatomy. Uh, Rifti Ma'am's videos are very good in summarizing FIBO guidelines. In fact, she has taught me how to read guidelines line by line. That's how I. That's how I came to know. That's how guidelines are to be read. Otherwise, I used to find it very difficult to retain and finish guidelines in one reading. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Rashmi Jha for scoring a topmost rank of CML1 and AML4 in specialty of MCH Gynec Oncology in any SS October 2024 session. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Doctor, can we know a detailed background history from where you started till date, what all you have done? Uh, sir, I did my MBBS from Eames Rishikesh. I was the first batch there. I did my post-graduation in MS of Tiny from Calcutta National Medical College, Kolkata. I did one year of SRship uh, in CNMC, Kolkata. After finishing one year of SRship, I took a small break in order to prepare for NEET SS 2023, where, which I failed miserably in that attempt. So I decided, ki, I recognized where were my weak points. I realized that I was very poor in anatomy. My oncology basics were not good. And I've been very, I've been procrastinating MCQs and solving tests. So I decided to give it another go and started preparing and working on my basics. So that's when I joined Speed and my journey to <laughs> then rest is, and I'm here now. Yeah, great. Now, can we know what is the methodology of preparation? What did you do to achieve this topmost rank? Mm. Uh, I specifically worked on my weaknesses first. In the previous, uh, my entire preparation, I divided into uh, eight months and three three last two months. First eight months, I was working. So, along with job, I started uh, working on anatomy and speed anatomy videos by Rifti Ma'am is very effective. Starting from basics to the advanced level, I cleared all my doubts related to anatomy. I started reading Berek and Hacker. I purchased Berek and Hacker and I started reading. Prior to that, I did not read that book in my previous uh, attempt. I read that book line by line. I left my job August this time around. And then uh, I, by that time, already did, did one reading of FIGO and ESGO guidelines. Uh, Rifti Ma'am's videos are very good in summarizing FIGO guidelines. In fact, she has taught me how to read guidelines line by line. That's how I that's how I came to know that's how guidelines are to be read. Otherwise, I used to find it very difficult to retain and finish guidelines in one reading. So that helped me a lot. And then I topped up with lots of MCQ practice. The speed offers free MCQs, 10 MCQs every day. So that helped me a lot, keeping me on track and completing and working on the lacuna of solving enough questions so that helped me so that's how i <laughs> how many questions did you attend doctor this time around my rationale was to solve for completely completely because i was very confident about my coverage this was according to me till date was my best effort so i thought you know, i am not able to be able to prepare better than this or more i read more than this so I attempted and that that uh, actually helped me because there were many questions which I did not read per se. But when I went through the options, I was able to come up with the answer. In my previous attempts, I used to skip those questions. I used to think, nee, to padha hi nee, and then I used to skip it. But this time around, I was determined, ki nee, I will. I have worked hard. I know the concepts. I will find out the answer. And that actually helped. I was able to do solve a lot of questions correctly, which I did not read. There were, a, there were so many questions on trials, which I didn't read. But when I went through the options, Basically, they were asking the things which I've read, which we have read. Most of us must have read. Just in order to confuse us, they put up the put up with that question. So, yeah, that's why I, I think we should attempt every question because it's just eighty marks question. So, margins are don't we don't have big margins. Great, doctor. Now, can we know how many questions were from superficiality standards of gynec oncology? How many are from general OBG? 80 questions were from uh, complete oncology and their difficulty level was good, uh, medium to hard. Uh, trials, there were two, there were four, two, three questions pertaining to trial, but this time they raised the standard because they, they even asked you the primary end, end point percentages 
which they were not asking the previous times but i had studied them so i was able to answer those questions correctly and 10 questions were from general and in any in ess there were a lot of repeats so there were i think almost four or five questions which were direct repeat from previous uh, papers in fact direct repeats even the options were same so that helped me because i i have given these papers previously as well two times so great doctor now what will be your advice for future aspirants of gynecology Uh, future aspirants see i have been preparing the, for this exam for a long time so i had time to go through berek and hacker and every guideline and reread it revise it but for if you are preparing specially for gynae oncology and for nesss i think uh, one cannot uh, skip figo guidelines they are very important every line every percentage everything they can ask one liners are mostly from figo and concepts uh, and new advances are mostly from esco so both those guidelines are very important and you have to keep on solving mcqs in order to practice your concepts great doctor now time to thank whom all you want to thank that they have helped you to achieve what you are today and my parents for supporting me because it has been a long journey for me i've been preparing since last year so it was difficult all my friends were very supportive then uh, i worked briefly i worked for 6 months i worked in a corporate hospital because i did a small fellowship in lab so in order to have more lab exposure i joined a corporate hospital even the staff even the consultants they were very supportive i also want to thank my mentor pg mentor pranav kumar biswas sir because i think there i tasted blood the joy of doing gynecology gynecologic surgeries was something i discovered in my kolkata pg ship so i want to thank him I'm. I think I'm missing out on a lot of people, but uh, yes, I think and and definitely speed team because my Riti, my lectures are very easy to listen, hear. She's she's such a calm person. She simplifies the concepts and it's very easy to grab grasp the concepts after going through her videos. Great doctor, we once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great and a wonderful career. I had an MCH gynec oncology. I think it's a long time wish, and I think the dream come true for you. And you have put in a lot of hard work and efforts, I mean, <laughs> persistently to achieve what you are today. And you are the only person responsible for <laughs> your success growth because of your persistent hard work. Good wishes, mm -hmm. best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.